Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, let's take a look at your person, how they might be viewing you, any possible action that they may take towards you. And we're also going to see what lessons need or needed to be learned here from this connection. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords. This is your person. All right, they're viewing you as the Emperor and possible future action, the Knight of Swords. You have someone here that is gonna reach out or communicate and we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So this could be a destined partnership, or I do think that whatever communication you get here, Leo, it is going to really move things forward. Now, with the Seven of Swords, this could be somebody who's just really avoidant, um, but this can also be an energy of somebody who's been sneaky or has been deceptive. But the Knight of Swords here indicates they may be coming in with the truth. Okay, so let's see. So your person, Seven of Swords, this is Moon and Aquarius energy. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Leos. All right, we've got the Four of Pentacles energy in reverse. Your person's really taking a look at something they were holding back from you. I don't know if they were holding back commitment. I don't know if they were holding back their true self, who they really truly are, what they want, but they do want to work things out with you. They do see you as extremely compatible. All right, and the Ten of Cups energy in reverse. Yeah, your person may have had issues with commitment. There might have been family obligations or maybe even needing to resolve family members' opinions of this connection or of you. Um, it, it could be that they needed to break away from some sort of family structure or something like that or influence, but it does feel like they're starting to see you as their divine counterpart, emperor energy. Strong Aries coming through. We also have the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, um, also Sagittarius for me as a reader here. But um, I'm seeing that, yeah, this person is seeing you as somebody who's positive and passionate. You're versatile. You're lively. It's like they're seeing you as their person. All right. So maybe some of you, this is just like a short break. For others of you, it may be a little bit longer. Yeah, we see the, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person is really, really in their head about you. They may also know that they kind of left you feeling a little bit, con not a little bit, a lot confused or upset about what's going on here, where you two stand. And we see the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person's wildly attracted to you. I think this person's also really kind of freaking out, Leo, that they may miss an opportunity with you. All right, so their future action here, we have the Knight of Swords. They're definitely going to reach out, communicate, um, and we see the Three of Swords. They're going to, you know, for some of you, they might be telling you about some sort of third-party interference, okay? And take that as you will. Not for all of you. Is it a romantic rival? For some of you, it might be the case, um, but it feels more like, you know, they're heartbroken. And I was seeing that third-party energy with the Trident here on this, on that original card there with the Knight of Swords. So they're, they're definitely coming in to get to the heart of the matter. This person's grieving. This person needs to tell you the truth. And they definitely feel there's unfinished business here. Now, for some of you, they might be telling you, you know, maybe that's why they stepped away or they were avoidant or they dropped off, you know, because they needed to wrap up something that was really interfering in this connection. It can be work. It can be family. It can be another connection. You know your stories better than I do, but you are going to be getting some sort of message, some sort of communication here. All right, Leo. So it's coming in the page of pentacles and it does feel like it's going to move this connection forward. All right. So let's see. What do my Leos need to know here, please? What do my Leos need to know here? All right, healthy choices. All right, so making healthy choices in love and in life. All right, so this person's definitely cleaning up their side of the street. They want to heal things. Um, and we see girl with a snake. Yeah, for some of you, this is what they were resolving. You know, they may have had, you know, and for a lot of you, I'm not getting that it's necessarily another connection, although it could be, but it might be like a family situation where they, you know, they have, they had, they felt like they were under the control of like family or family opinions or something like that. 
Um, and I feel this person has put up boundaries with someone or something that was interfering. All right. I don't, I don't feel like this person's a narcissist, to be honest. That's not what I'm getting. All right. And so a lot of my Leos, I do see that you've been really hurt. The separation has been painful. They know that they're fully aware of that. And yeah, you deserve stability and commitment and security. And for a lot of my Leos, I do feel like you're going to get that. Um, yeah. And except for some of you, maybe they were, you know, resolving some sort of addictive behaviors, a codependent situation. There was definitely a block or a restraint, but it does feel like this person has, you know, has moved on from that or has resolved that. Okay. So it feels transformative from where I'm standing. It feels really good. All right. Let's see. What are the lessons that need or needed to be learned here for my Leos? Valued contributions. Appreciate the uniqueness of what each other brings to the connection. Okay, so maybe some of you weren't feeling valued or they didn't let you know, um, you know, how much they cared. And again, it, it feels like something here was definitely draining them, taking away from this connection, taking away from you. All right, and unraveling this function. Correcting learned patterns will create a healthier foundation for your relationships. Yeah, and I do feel like with this girl with the snake energy and healthy choices, I do think your person is trying to correct those learned patterns, but it is also about doing things differently together, okay, so that you have different results, healthier results. And yeah, Spirit's saying there's a second chance here. Someone wants the opportunity to prove themselves. All right, so I love that for you. I'm getting that very, very strong. So it feels like there's potential communication coming in that's going to change everything here. All right. Let's see, what does this person want you to know at the ego level, please? I trusted you. And I think this person still does trust you. All right, and I can't stop thinking about you. All right. Now let's take a look at what they want you to know, their higher self or their future self. Oh, that came out quick. I hope we can come back together and pick up where we left off. Yeah, but I don't think they even want to pick up where they left off, where you left off. I think they want to come back together and they want to do things differently. They know they need to do things differently. And this is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could go back in time. Beautiful. All right. And whew. all right, let's see. Mm. advice, clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos regarding this person or this connection. Every hurricane comes to an end. Number 44, you are being protected here. Okay, so they, like the worst is over. You're out of survival mode. Things are only going to get better from here. And we get sharks. Swim away from this situation. Yeah, so some of you, there needed to be a timeout here just to recalibrate, to see things differently, to see things clearly. But I also see with this shark energy that, you know, this person, I think they're swimming away from something that wasn't in alignment with them. All right. And or that was like negatively affecting this connection. And we see library. Take control of your own narrative. Yes, beautiful. Okay, I love that energy. Take control of your own narrative. So you you have power and control more than you realize here, Leo, and you have the power to say no or to walk away as well um, and weave together the crown you deserve. All right, so you absolutely you know your worth and your value. They know that. And think first before you judge. Yeah, so again, sit with what this person has to tell you, Leo. Um, before don't let it, you know, don't be in just reactive mode, really sit with what this person, uh, wants you to know here. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, um, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light. Take care.